does your dog despise the vacuum cleaner? Is it a real constant battle every time you try and clean your home because your dog is trying to attack or perhaps play with the vacuum? For dogs who hate the vacuum, the process of you actually having to clean up the house can be really, really stressful. So what we want to do is help them over a matter of a few weeks to start to feel a lot more positive whenever the vacuum cleaner comes out. The first thing is to create a positive association with the vacuum just existing in the room. And so to do that, what we're going to do is we're going to just bring the vacuum out when our dog is not in the room and just place it um, in various different spots around the room and scatter treats around it. So your dog can come up of their own accord. We're not forcing them over towards the vacuum, but we're just allowing them every time they go near it that there's good stuff around it. And by moving our vacuum into different areas of the room, they're not kind of getting stuck in that one situation that that's the only place it's allowed to exist. The next stage when our dog starts to feel happy about the vacuum just existing in the room is to start to get it to move a little bit, but we're not turning it on at any time at this point. So this is about get using all the different functions that your vacuum might have. So moving it along on its wheels, if it has one of those bits where it sort of drops down using that, and also getting out any nozzles or attachments that your vacuum may have. We're going to move them really slowly. And if we need to, we can always tip that vacuum on the side so it looks like something completely different for our dogs. As you move the vacuum around in that really slow motion, you're just going to keep throwing treats for your dog in an, a manner where they get to chase away from the vacuum. So they're not having to approach, you're not forcing them near to it. So if your dog shows any interest in the movement, you're going to throw a treat away for them. Anytime they're nice and relaxed, we're going to keep rewarding them by throwing treats as we move that vacuum around. The next stage is to turn on our vacuum and this is where it can get quite scary because there's not only the noise but also that suction and the vibrations that the machine will make. So we're going to just turn on the machine and we're going to actually use those treats again hoping that our dogs feel comfortable about it. If at any point our dog looks like it's really scared just turn that vacuum off straight away. At this point we only want to turn it on for just a few seconds at a time and we're going to build that up slowly until we can get a good couple of minutes of the vacuum running without our dog being worried about it. Next we want to start to move our vacuum around while it's on. So we're going to start with just the main frame of the vacuum, so having it turned on and just moving it around very slightly. Again, if your dog freaks out at any point, stop and go back a stage. We want to make sure that our dog always feels comfortable around the vacuum, never that it's actually threatened by it. And at this point, again, we're using those treats thrown away from the vacuum. And if your dog looks, starts to look quite worried, move your vacuum away from them as well. So you're actually creating larger amount of distance so your dog isn't so threatened. Now we're going to move on to the nozzle section of the vacuum and that's a little bit of a strange one because it's very sucky and so for some dogs that can be quite threatening as we're wafting that around. It's as if our arms have suddenly become animated and machine like and they're also sucking up things. So we want to introduce this really calmly so not a lot of movement to start with. It may just be you get the vacuum turned on, you bring out the nozzle and it just stays still for a moment. Again, rewarding our dog by throwing treats away. So we're encouraging them to stay away from the vacuum when it is turned on. Then we're going to build up to moving that nozzle just ever so slightly. So that it's starting to look more as we would when we would really be using that vacuum cleaner. As your dog starts to look more comfortable about the vacuum being used, we can start to create even more distance from our dog by actually teaching them something like a centre bed. In this exercise, we're actually teaching our dog to go and settle in a specific spot while we can get on with the household chores. It also gives our dogs a job to do, which is alternate to actually chasing or attacking that vacuum cleaner. If you want to know how to teach your dog the centre bed and build up big distractions around it, come over and join our Barket Club.